this E chord, which is a D shape, slid up, and looks like a C if you think of it barred. Mm -hmm. I don't know how well this will come off on the tape, but this is an experiment. And you start by showing... You did this. Playing those two notes to still just staying on the second and fourth strings. And that is an E chord, a partial E chord. But, right. but you're doing it just like that, like a D chord? Uh, I'm barring. You're barring that. And you that. don't have to. You can go... you playing just three strings there, or four strings? Um, it's up to you. Different okay. sound, different places. Right. I'm playing... Okay. If you're going to play the fourth string, you have to fret it. Mm -hmm. There's uh, something to help you remember the fingering. Uh, in, in E, we've got the, these... Um, various ways of playing an E7. And this one, we started with um, talking about walk down. And right now what we're focusing on is the same thing that we did with thinking of this kind of as a C chord, this E. Uh, these two fingers on the second and fourth strings only, the whole lick, with these ready to drop down. Your lady, your lady, your lady. So we're talking about which fingers to use on which strings. Oh, these are ready to drop. Ring finger. Yeah. yeah. show another one. This is an E chord. It's the A here. But I'm just now looking at first and second strings. First okay. and second strings. Mm -hmm. Let me just put this on the video then we'll turn around, turn it off and talk. That is the same E chord, E diminished, B, E. And look at the fingers I'm using now. I'm going to play it once more and do all three strings. The first, second, and fourth string. Once again, looking at the fingers, these two are on the second and fourth strings, and this one is on the first string, the index. 